of dollars. I understand that the bloc is absolutely terrified that we've been so present to help, but we will be there as long as necessary to help out. Mystic, hopeful vision for public life isn't a naive dream. It could be a powerful force for change. If Canadians are to trust their government, their government needs to trust Canadians. Those are the words of the Prime Minister in 2015. These people, very often misogynistic, racist, women haters, science deniers, the fringe. Same Prime Minister six years later as he fans the flames of an unjustified national emergency. So, Mr. Speaker, when did the Prime Minister lose his way? When did it happen? The right Honourable Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker. Conservative Party members can stand with people who wave swastikas. They can stand with people who wave uh, the Confederate flag. We will choose to stand with Canadians who deserve to be able to get to their jobs, who be able to get their lives back. These illegal protests need to stop, and they will, Mr. Speaker. I just want to remind the honourable members, including the honourable right honourable prime minister, to use words that are not inflammatory in the house, and that's for both sides. The honourable member for Thornhill. Unbecoming, uh, unbecoming as a prime minister. It's been 48 hours that the government went from doing nothing to a national emergency. 48 hours into using the measures, 48 hours without providing Parliament with a justification. So my question is simple. When will the Prime Minister admit that he's lost control of the situation, that he's lost control of his country, that he's lost control of his caucus, and that he's lost control of his leadership? Yeah.